Link, stop putting away and pulling out your sword. We have work to do. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's take on the next set of 20 floors. We got some Beemos, which I can snipe quite easily from up here. And I intend on doing so before they become an issue. Because, you know, Beemos, pretty annoying enemies when you're in a room full of other enemies. Just saying. And when I jump down there, I'm going to... Because I see there's two here. I don't think I can hit them from this angle. Though I might be able to. Oh, wow, I can. Even though I shot through the black of the screen. <laughs> oh, wow, that is, that is sweet right there. I was a little worried that I would have to make a run for it while, you know, avoiding keys along with it. But no, that worked out incredibly well. And I shot it, shot at it blind. I was able to tell where the eye generally was based on the carving of the stone. Like, if you look at the design of a Beemos, you'll see that the top of it, see how it's a little bit out and it's a little bit rounded as opposed to the, uh, the side of it? That's how I was able to tell where it was, and I just shot blind, but I, I was like a sharpshooter there. <laughs> uh, well, I definitely need the rod here, but where do, what do I do with these statues? <laughs> like, uh, like, what do I do with these once I get them going, per se? Maybe maybe I just have to move them? or Because I don't think they have a hammer. Oops. Oh! There's a switch. Ah, okay, so once you move them off the switch, the gate opens up. That makes sense. Alright. Moving on. We got, okay, we got some more torch slugs off the ceiling. So it seems like a rather good idea to take care of them. But do it carefully. Do not want to waste the arrows. All you want to do is take care of them. Uh, I can deal with the fire keys just with my sword without much issue. Oh! Red bubbles. <laughs> Did not expect that. I didn't see them from the, the top there. Maybe that was the point of the darkness to conserve these skulls. Or maybe the brightness on my TV is not up high enough. <laughs> The world may never know. Oh, come on, I didn't want to do that. I want to swing around to the side, like that, for the Dodongos. Come on. I know your front is invulnerable, but your backside is not. Okay. Where is... Oh, there it is. I thought I'd seen something move over there. Just blend it in really well. Again, that might be the brightness of my TV. <laughs> okay, we got Poe there. Staphos. I'm gonna try the bomb thing that I mentioned before. Like, I'm gonna see if I can... Like, throw a bomb where they are. Maybe. I think they put them in a strategic spot that I will not be able to do that. Like, maybe I could do it with that one. The one that's closest to me. I don't need all these bombs. I'm just... I just hit fill them up just in case. Maybe I can get that one. Boop. Just need to get it to trickle. Oh! Trickle off the edge just barely. Okay, that might do it. Yeah, I think... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, no. That didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, maybe that's because these are... Yeah, these are Redeads, not... Not Staffles. It's my mistake. Go, 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 go. Although, that... That bomb must have did damage to it, because I was only... I only took, uh... I mean, you only took one... Swing my sword to finish it. Okay, you... Come to this side of the room. Preferably. I know you can see me. Unless your vision is very bad. Okay, there we go. I'm going to try the bomb thing just for the heck of it. Mm, ha ha! 
I wanted to keep him in place, so I attempted to get him to do his roar of justice. Okay, roar. Oh, no, 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 no pole, no pole. Bad pole. I don't want to, I don't want to attack you just yet. I don't want you to attack me just yet. Okay, you're going to hang back where you were before, right? No, you're not. Well, fine, I'll get you now. I guess it's no, no big deal. Come on. Back over here. Yep. If I'm going to divide and conquer, I might as well treat him like a normal enemy, I suppose. Okay. Back to a human. Strategy is key. Okay, roar. Roar of demise. Oh. That was fantastic. <laughs> Alright. This floor is done. See what I mean about the floors getting harder and harder as you go? That's why I did the first 30 in the first part of this, and then I'm doing 20 for the last, because I figured the 20 would take me longer than the first 30 to, to uh, do. Okay, what is going to surprise me down here? Shoes? Eh, I suppose. Shoes aren't really that big of a deal. No, unless they come... Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yep. <laughs> I seen that when I stopped moving. I didn't really notice the chirp chirps of the rats, though. Hey. Should I be like. I don't think that'll help for the larger ones. Yeah, it just splits them. Which they technically have unlimited life until you, um... Wait, where? Is there one more? Ah! Of which they have technically unlimited life if they keep combining themselves into larger and larger critters. Okay, I just wanted to be sure there weren't any more archers. Remember that one? Oh, no! Freezard right in the middle of the room? Really? That is... A humongous problem. I'm going to actually get rid of the spinner. I'm going to try to. I think that I think that actually hit it. Yes. All right. I was a little worried that I wouldn't be able to do that, but it it worked. <laughs> now. Yeah, I figured that would just make them slide around. But the floor has got more friction than your typical area, so... They're, they aren't going to bounce around the room that they're typically in, I mean. Because the, the floor isn't icy. Because see, you can hit them like that, and they're just going to, yeah, skid over to the wall. They aren't going to bounce around like crazy. And... Okay. A little more. I must say I'm not doing too shabby. <laughs> um, hmm. You guys are kind of annoying because you're like a combined close range and long range enemy. <laughs> Although, how about a little bomb action? How will that work for you? Well, you won't be able to notice it unless you actually are hit by it. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna jump in. Uh! I don't like how they have a recovery time. Like they can get their javelin back. Ah! Mm! Yeah! Although when they throw it, it makes them pretty much helpless. Like that. I mean, that's what I should have done back when I was in that cathedral room at the Snow Peak Ruins. I kept getting bombarded by them and just attacking the ones that threw their spears. <clears throat> or javelins, whatever you want to call them. <sighs> that's definitely going to be a bubble room. 
But is there going to be anything else, is the question. You guys come towards me, if you don't mind. I don't really mind if they come at me a little bit at a time. Just as long as it is not a swarm of everything. Oh! At once, like that. I want to spin. There we go. That's all? No? Where did you come from, anyway? <laughs> I didn't see a skull on the floor. Ah, oh, whatever. Hmm. Oh, we got another Freezard. But it's in range of... my ball and chain. No! No, I didn't... Oh, I didn't mean to jump down! That's a problem. That's... This might be my first major mistake here. <laughs> oh boy! Alright, just spin attack. <laughs> I'd use my magic armor, but that just makes things too easy. Okay, I'm gonna shimmy over here. Uh. I wanted to get around the, the side where he would hopefully not. Uh, I just want to take care of one of these. <laughs> that's that's kind of the issue here. There we go. Because I I needed to get room to move a, move around. Yeah, this was definitely a big mistake on my part because I, I I not only jumped right into something that I could have probably set up ahead of time. But I also took a lot of damage as a result of that mistake of dropping down. Ugh. I wanted to jump to the side there. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, bombs. You guys like bombs? I like bombs. Yeah. There we go. I'm getting through this room, but it's not going pretty. There we go. Oh! Still two annoyances. Come on. Oh, come on. Ugh. Is that? Oh, jeez. I'm attempting to throw a bomb to try and hit the other ones. Ugh. Uh, does bombs even affect them? I mean, do bombs even ex affect them? Excuse me. Bad English. <laughs> there we go. Now... Get, get frozen on me now. Ah! What an annoying room! Well, if you jump down without thought. <laughs> I mean, I didn't jump down without thought, I just jumped down by mistake. And that's why you want to have a bunch of potions, just in case of mistakes like that, but... It worked out, I guess. I still like to conserve as much energy as possible. Alright. Whoa, are those... Dark Nuts? If so, this is gonna be one heck of a room. Unless that other one will other one will stay on that side. Yeah, these are dark nuts. Oh boy. The mini boss of the Temple of Time, if you recall. Swing your thing. I want to get up and swing around to the other side like that. I just wanna you know, I don't want to fight two at all. The other one's seen me! I don't want to fight two at once, but looks like that's just how things are gonna be. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try this. Oh, you can actually block that. You are a true problem. Hmm. I'm just trying to wait for that. Ah, it still didn't work quite as well as I thought it would. Although, that's not bad. I got a couple bits in there. Aww. You'll notice I'm talking less 
and concentrating more at this point because things are getting quite a bit harder. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, come on. How did you even manage to guard that? <laughs> it was a 360 attack. E. Yeah, they can guard that. That is astonishing. So I was lied to my, my, by my ghostly buddy that that, blo that, that uh, attack was completely unguardable. Oh, and also, the 49th floor has three of these to face. <laughs> Just warning you. I mean, at once, like this. So it's, it's gonna be pretty ugly. By the way, this won't do anything either. <laughs> I just thought I would mention that as well, because that, that's usually an item that can pierce through defenses. Uh, what if I were to do that, and then, like, keep you guys around it? No, you can still guard that. You guys are masters at guarding. I've still got a lot of armor to cut off. <laughs> eh. Luckily, when you have when you're guarding, you do block the attack. But the thing is that the, their swings are so powerful that it actually stuns you for a little bit. Helm splitter. I seen the icon there. Just went for it. All right, now I'm gonna aim for Mr. Swift here now because he's a lot less defensive. Nope, nope, Mr. Swift. Ah. I, I, I expect the only rooms to be a big of an issue are actually these rooms, and of course ones that I make mistakes on, like the, the last room. Good. Ah. Come on! I just need to take care of this one, because it's almost dead. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna split you up. Because I know you're fast, you're gonna run away from the other one and come a little bit quicker. Come on. Or you're gonna team up with the other guy strategically. <laughs> and he's also got that little kick attack to stun you as well. Come on. Yes! Yes! And yes! <laughs> now I don't have to worry too much. I did the wrong kind of jump. I wanted to jump to the side because I seen that coming, but I failed! What else is new? <laughs> ah, now the battle is much more equal! <laughs> See how much of a difference it makes when you divide and conquer the enemies? That's why I didn't wanna, want to alert both of those at the same time. But, well, it happens sometimes. And... Oh, so we've reached the 40th, 40th floor. And we will release it to the uh, Lake Hylia Spring. Yahoo! You know, release fairies. Just nine more floors to go after this. And then the final floor. Yeah, she's hinting that you need the double claw shots to get further in this place. Okay. She doesn't spoil the item, but she mentions what you need. And I already got that equipped, so it's no big deal. Alright. So as you can see, you need to claw shot your way into that place. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. How... How would how possible would it be to like I don't know like alert one at a time and then <laughs> sling around to the outside like that no no not that ah I don't like that wild swingy swing thing that they do there when they when they're about to die because that that's by far the hardest thing to avoid. be if I were to like can you guard this 
Yeah, you can. <laughs> hmm. I got two. Careful. Nope. I don't want to do. That works. Aww. They do a lot of damage, too. I should start uh, watching my health here. No. Nope. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 <laughs> Yay! Alright, five more to go. How about I try this? Throw a bomb there. Get it activated. Ah, It's a little bit off on my timing there. Keep going, keep going. Did, did that do any damage? No, it didn't do any damage. I seen it shake from the bomb blast, so... It, it did indeed hit it, but it didn't do any damage when it hit it. No, 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 no. No, I didn't want to activate that other one. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. I'm just going to lead you away from the other two. No, 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 no. One, two... Whoa! Aw. That's fine. No, no. Ah. Dang, erratic. Hammer swinging. Alright, now I'm in a pretty decent position to get them away f I mean, so I can hit them from the back immediately, rather than hit the have to get them from the front. See, the way that they position them, they have it so that the- Oh man. They have it so that they activate when they see you, and when they see you, you're already in range of them, and it's hard to get behind them before they start rotating around you and stuff like that. Alright. Now, let's get ourselves- Oh, come on. Let's get ourselves through here. Mm, there we go. That's what you need the double claw shots for. Hmm. Are those these aren't going to be any issue. The uh, Baba serpents or Deku serpents, whatever they're called, I forgot. But these these are unrooted, <laughs> so they will come for me gradually. No, I don't want to Z-target you, I want to Z-target the... Mobs. <laughs> finish! Finish! That looked like it went between its armpits. You know, the, the fake... I've got stabbed by a sword move. <laughs> but it about to hit him! Oh, no, no, no! No snarly teeth! How dare you snarly teeth me! No, no, no. One now, one at a time, please. Where are these coming from? Are they jumping in from the top? <laughs> or am I just not finishing them off completely? I don't know, actually. Or maybe they're being called from the other ones? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you know what I I'm also stretching my health as much as I possibly can, rather than using a potion when I feel... Uh, I, I should, like, when I, um... Oh, no, 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 archers. Now, this is a place that I should try using a potion. Because, um, I want to conserve as many uh, potions and stuff as I possibly can. Because, you know, this place doesn't give you anything. <laughs> um, what would be... I had that out, I guess. I'm just trying to think of how to deal with those archers. Could I, like, roll a bomb towards them, or would that be a little too far? <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't seem like bombs do a very good job. <laughs> At least from a distance. This, this kind of distance here. Uh, they know I'm here. So they went... Oh! So they went... I mean, they're moving their positions. How annoying. Okay, I'm just gonna jump down. <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> Luckily, the uh, archers don't have all that much HP. Ah! Good. 
those Lizafalls don't have all that much HP as well, so... Good. That went lovely. Only lost a heart and a half there. Okay. I don't know why I'm even bothering to collect rupees at this point, because it's like... My wallet's full, and I'm just wandering around collecting the remainder of rupees. Uh, armored Lizafalls, and the final pull in the game... <gasps> Look at it! Look at it! 59! 59! Last one's right on this floor. But... Those Armored Lizafalls, combined with the annoying pull there... Will actually prove to be pretty formidable, I, th I think. Unless I get them separated a little bit. Eh. Like... Can I get you... Come on. Oh, there we go. I just want to get... You're pretty quick. I want to get you away from your buddies. Oh, no, 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 Poe. No, Poe. I can't defeat that unless I am a wolf and it's better to take on these guys as a human. Oh, poopy. <laughs> and I'd like to finish these off as well, but... But their finish time, like the time that you can press the A button to do the finish attack, it's very, very small most of the time. So I'm going to have to defeat these guys normally, and that worked out delightful. Wolf time! Final pull! Look at it! Look at it! It's the last one you'll ever see! Yeah! 60 out of 60! <sighs> That is a beautiful thing right there. <sighs> Back to a human for the remaining remaining floors, unless, you know, I'm gonna have to deal with ghost rats or something like that. Because being a human is pretty much the most useful thing in this place most of the time. You SOBs. <laughs> Aha! They did another I wanna be the guy trick. Right off the bat, and I got an arrow. <laughs> um, how are you guys with arrows? Whoa! That's doing damage, isn't it? Am I wasting arrows doing this? Probably, but I'm kind of curious to see if they'll die off. Ah, there we go. Why not? And for the last one, I'll just defeat it normally. No, 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 no. Just want to make sure I don't use more arrows than I need to. Alright, let's jump down. Oh, there's one over there. Oh, there's a lot more. <laughs> well, you know what? The sword is still the best option. Ooh. I just don't want to, you know, get them all grouped around me like that one floor. But the arrows are great for stunning them for a second, even if it doesn't do all that much damage. I'm gonna... Uh, swing around. Good. And that shoe's not all that big of a problem. I guess. You just gonna wander around the room there, Chew? Chew Jelly? You Jelly? <laughs> Okay. And one more. Well, it's actually gonna be like a split enemy. It's gonna turn into like eight other ones. Oh wait, wait, it's a it's really large, so it's gonna turn into sixteen other ones. No, oh, oh, no, 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 I don't think so. The chews as large and as threatening as they seem, they really aren't. <laughs> Because of how long it takes them to pull off an attack. Like, you, you can always tell when they're about to attack. Um, oh, not another one of these. And Keese, for uh, good measure. How are you... How do you guys react to arrows? Uh, I'm vulnerable. I know um, ball and chain affects them instantly. You know, it kills them instantly. But I just, uh... 
I think that's the point of these rooms is to use the ball and chain if it oh my god you're here I didn't know you were here <laughs> oh and oh jeez and on top of that I sense ghost rats wow they certainly know how to make rooms hard now <laughs> Right, I want to kill off that one. Not, not, not the, um, not these guys. I want to kill off the Freezard. There we go, like that. Because now I have more room to work in. Yeah. No. Dang you. And your sniping abilities. And I'm covered by rats again, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. I want to get all the rats on me. Okay. I thought there was on me there. I mean, thought, I thought there was one on me there for a second. Hmm. There we go. Now, human. <laughs> oh, this place is tiring. <laughs> no! Spin! There we go. That's all I wanted. <sighs> I really gotta make sure they don't get too far away from me. Like when I get rid of their spears, because then they'll recover. But it's kind of hard not to, because they always seem to go by the Freezard. But I think that's the idea of the room's design. Oh, come on! Now, if I were to... Oh, completely miss. I will take a hit. No, if I were to, like, lure them into throwing their spears, or preferably away... Now, how about I get you... Before you get your spear back. And why did I lock on to the other one? I mean, why did he lock on to the other one? I was facing... I mean, the camera was facing the other way, and yeah, that's kind of weird. No. Ah. ah, these rooms are the worst. These ice rooms. I mean, they're, they're very strategically put together. And that's, that's kind of the issue that makes them so hard. Alright, start spewing your ice. Okay. And now you are harmless. Well, for the most part. I know you turned these little guys, but... These little guys are nothing compared to Big Mo- And I take a hit from them. Compared to Big Mama. Alright. How much more to go? I don't, I don't know, I wasn't really counting floors. I just know the 49th floor will be the one with dark nuts. Okay, there is not just you down here. No, I, I do not believe that. I don't believe that at all. The reason why I killed it off was because I figured it might make other enemies spawn. Oh, rats are under here. Lots of rats. Oh. Nah, that wasn't it. Ah, that's what I thought. I can take care of these as a human fairly well with the spin attack, but it's just so, so handy to get all these guys spawned. You know, like, just run around the room like this, and then just keep running around in circles, keep running in circles, and then what'll happen is that they'll all group in one spot, because um, they're slower than you. They're, they're similar to grouping boos together in Mario games to make them form... I mean, make them react as, like, one unit. And then you just wipe them all out at once like that. It's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> mm that was a really easy room. And... One Dark Knot. Uh... Wait, what are... Oh, those are Aerial Fulses. How do I do this? I want to... 
I want to get them up here, if anything. Oh, that did not work at all. <laughs> I wanted to try and get him from the floor, but whatever. I'll just take care of the arrow forces first before the dark nuts, because the dark nut is a lot slower. Good. I'm not too worried about the uh, dark nut there, because it's so slow at the moment. You'll, you've seen on the other floor, I didn't have any issue with the dark nut. Uh, as long as it was just in, it was a single one, not multiple ones. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> okay. Well, whatever. It's done. Now that there's only one, I can start going at it. Ah! Whoa! Oh! 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 Maybe I should just yeah, like guard your attack like that, and then while you're recovering, start attacking. If at all possible. Uh, that might work. But I think the... That is better. I should probably do it on the side that he doesn't have the shield. If at all possible. Gotta pay more attention to the handiwork of the enemy. Yeah, I used the pun there. Oh, dang it. I was too late to jump to the side again. Yeah, it's important to notice the... Uh, which hand has the shield and which hand has a sword, so that you know which side is less guarded. It helps. And you are really swift despite just having one sword. <laughs> there we go. Not too bad. And just look how well I'm doing here. I've still got Three potions that recover all my health here. And we have... Oh, this is it! The final room! Well, it's floor 49. It has to be, because there's three dark nuts. I can hear the one wandering below my feet here, and then there's the two over there. They're all different colors. It's pretty neat, actually. They're, they're the same enemy as we all... as we know and love, but uh, it's still... Dark Nuts! <laughs> oh no, I did not want to attack... I, I, I didn't want to attract the other one. Did not want to attract the other one. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna... Try and take care of you. No, 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 no. I gotta watch my health, though and get to a corner if I feel I am getting a little overwhelmed here. <laughs> and, you know, to be able to use a potion. They aren't that big of a deal, I suppose, but at the same time, they are. <laughs> because, because it's a matter of strategically moving. Eh. And trying to get hits off them. Ah. Okay, you... I want Mr. Swift there to come to this side of the room. Why are you staying with the other ones? Are you you are a very smart enemy. <laughs> oh, <pfft. laughs> of all floors to run into the wall, it's this one. Yeah, that's what I want him to do. Are those like the swift attacks like that? Because once they lose it, once they lose their armor. They're a lot swifter than their other ones, because, you know, knight armor's pretty heavy. You're off to the side! No, I don't want to lock on to you. Run, run, run! <laughs> okay. I wonder if I should use a potion now, just to be safe. Because I do not want to go through this place from the start again. Although, technically, I will have to go through this place from the start again. Because you actually have to go through this place two times to see everything, because there's a slightly harder version of the Cave of Ordeals. Um, yeah, minor spoilers there, but I'm, ca I'm coming down to the end of this part anyway, so it's no big deal. Because I'm going to have to say that after I finish this dungeon anyway. <laughs> uh, what did I have out on the B button? Was it that? I guess it doesn't really matter. That's what I thought would happen. I, I thought maybe for the heck of it I could possibly 
pull off their armor, but I didn't think so. It's on there pretty good. Yeah. No. I took care of one. Two to go. <sighs> By the way, I think that they were, they were like red, blue, and yellow there. Primary colors. I don't know if that's a reference to primary colors or anything like that, but I, I gotta say this triple combination of, uh, you know, different colors here looks pretty cool when they're all together like that. Helm Splitter! Ah. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'll eventually get a hit off them. I know I will. It's inevitable. <laughs> Good. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Ugh. I just need to take. Need to turn another one into Mr. Swift. There we go. No, 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 no. Because the uh, Mr. Swifts are far less defensive. Oh, and they're, they're also not called Mr. Swifts. I would just like to clarify that right now. <laughs> I'm just saying that for the heck of it. And there we go. One left. Neat. Can't use my shield. Of well, he's using a shield attack. I was gonna say I'm, I could try using my shield attack to try and knock down his defense, but these good enemies are pretty good at guarding. <laughs> In case you don't realize that. Oh, come on. I mean, not in a bad way. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll wait for you to uh, attack and swing around to the other side. That's, at least that was my plan. Like that. How did you manage to guard that anyway? Alright. Alright, one more. Just one more, and this place is done! Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely... I definitely think Roll Goal is way harder than this place. I'm sorry. <laughs> Roll Goal is the king of challenges in this game. A, a whole horde of enemies? No, no issue whatsoever. You get... A girl that runs a fishing hole, she makes a little marble minigame. That blows this place away. <laughs> and that is all for the Cave of Ordeals. Well, at least the first run through it. That was awesome. Whew. What do you have to say about my victory? Actually, she's, she's going to give me um, some fairy t tears here, excuse me. Yeah, that's where that uh, Giovanni got his fairy tears from. So, they're, I think they're actually hinting that he managed to make it to the whoa, to the very bottom of this place, and she just ninja me with her sexiness. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but she certainly snuck up on me for sure. Or do they? Oh, no. <laughs> I must. Aww. Aww. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, I have to go through this place one more time. And. Wait, wait. That, I didn't mean to talk to you. Well, I suppose I could check you if I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, they decided to warp me over to the. Lake Hylia Spirit Spring for some reason. Oh, and, uh, uh, yeah, see that comment? Yeah. <laughs> I might as well get that as long as I'm here for the heck of it. And these are the fairies that I was talking about that got released in the springs. You can find fairies just like this all over the place now. But anyway, I'm going to get the thing that was mentioned, or at least show it, because I, I don't think I'll be able to pick it up. I'm pretty sure it's rubies. <laughs> um, 
Where's the next target? Because yeah, you need the double claw shots to get this, so I, I figured as long as I'm here, why not? <laughs> Wait, I can target that one? Really? I, I thought I went over that one before. Hmm. Oh, oh, maybe it just didn't lock on? Mm -hmm. Oh, Ooh, it's very finicky. <laughs> you serious? How about I do this? Will this get me closer? Yes, it will. Okay. And I think this is a spot that has the thing. Maybe. Could be wrong, though. Hold on. I just remember that... Ah, yeah, there we go. I did get this before, but I completely forgot about when I was in here last time, but yeah, it's just an orange rupee. I did not need that whatsoever, and I did not need the uh, um, magic armor for the uh, Cave of Ordeals either, so that was awesome. And this part has gone on for a while, so I'm going to end it off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I go through the Cave of Ordeals once again.